Hey, good evening. There's this one viewer who found uh, one of my older video about how to reuse a laptop screen and they asked me when is my uh, next uh, video coming out so uh, like I said I've been uh, doing other projects and uh, this has been in the back burner for a long time so this is the version one of my uh, picture frames uh, let me take this off the uh, wall and I'll show you more about this so this is a um, I think it's about 11 or 14 inch uh, picture frame. I got it from IKEA, and it came with the whole uh, frame, the the backing board, and uh, this in the uh, picture frame top. They call this the mat. So what I did was to uh, cut the mat to the uh, LCD screen sizes, and uh, use some double sided tape to tape it together. And then I put all the electronics in the back, uh, the, the uh, switch, inverter, the main uh, board, the Raspberry Pi, and uh, this is the power supply. I'll explain more in a bit. So uh, you make these uh, hole cut out to accommodate the wires coming out. So this is uh, one of the wires that's for the light, the bad light, and another one for um, the uh, the LCD signal. So uh, the original plan was to cut it here and then I end up cutting here instead and um, the original mounting hardware it broke so uh, I put in a new one using uh, a just off the shelf uh, picture mounting mounting uh, hardware so I use this 12 volt uh, 3.5 amp uh, power supply. It originally came off a Linksys router, but the router broke, but I kept the power supply. So the power supply splits out two ways. One goes back right back to the um, LCD driver board, and another one goes into this, uh, we call this step-down buck converter. And uh, what it does is to convert 12 volts, and out comes 5 volts. And this is a uh, cut-out uh, USB cable that feeds into the uh, Raspberry Pi for uh, power so that you don't need to use two power supplies to uh, for two items so uh, let me plug this in find a place to plug it in and I'll show you how it works so it boosts up into Raspberry Pi now keep in mind that uh, this is a very old uh, version because uh, once you build these stuff, you just kind of let it sit there and do its job and uh, they're really stable, you don't have to do much with them, uh, there's no update, no nothing and uh, since it only does one task, uh, there's not much expectation of it so just uh, let it boot it up and uh, what, what you just saw was a um, VNC boot up screen so that uh, you can uh, remotely control it and now I boot up to the uh, old pool to a Raspberry Pi OS. Uh, what do we call that? The I forgot what it's called. Uh, but basically, it boots into the uh, GUI, and it immediately starts up the web browser in um, either kiosk mode or full screen, depending on uh, what you plan. It's a, we use, I use a Raspberry Pi Zero, so it's kind of take a long time. Uh, the whole video right now is at 6 minute mark. So it loads up the dark board uh, software immediately. Okay. And uh, just load up the calendar and uh, basically now you have a picture frame. and So it loads up the picture frame. It's, it's actually a website, but once you default to full screen then uh, it just works just like a you have a here a picture frame with calendar uh, weather for the week date time yeah I filmed this in uh, 11 uh, 12 a.m. so uh, that's pretty much it uh, it in the the dark board is managed by uh, you know the company called dark board and uh, they have a a limited version which will be give you a um, picture transition every two minutes but uh, for my purpose it works really well uh, I 
But if I really want to do more advanced stuff and don't want to build my own software, then uh, this is a really good solution. All right, so a uh, quick going through, uh, this is the Dacboard's uh, pricing page. So you see the free version, you know, it's a typical freemium model. Uh, free you get bare bone just to try things out if you like it maybe you could at least sign up for essential five dollars a month that will get you two screens uh, two screens yeah you can put uh, two picture frames like that or even uh, go further three screen for ten dollars and but these are more like for small businesses where they want a little dashboard so uh, but at least you know if you like that product definitely uh, and have some cash to spare definitely uh, give them some uh, support uh, customized layouts and uh, the calendars also allow you know a lot of uh, more advanced features are available uh, once you get into a pay tier but at least you get some uh, basic calendar uh, integration to Google calendars um, also uh, something like uh, news a uh, photo as a background, uh, some kind of automation uh, showing you maybe a temperature setup in your house, uh, all of these, but all of these uh, more advanced ones are premium only. So uh, I'm a cheapskate, so I'll keep to uh, using uh, the free version. Now the upside of uh, building it uh, with a uh, pre build a picture uh, IKEA picture frame is that uh, you it's much lower cost this is only ten dollars and uh, now the downside is that uh, the quality is kind of weak and uh, this this uh, plastic film on the front is actually bulging because of all the uh, all the component that's are sit behind and it's pressing against it so it's the first version and uh, I was okay with it, so I sit here and do its job. We look at it while we have a dinner every night. It's uh, it's all good. But uh, but the problem with that is that it's kind of it wasn't uh it was kind of kind of cheap. So uh, in the end, I decided for my second version. Uh, welcome to my desk. Um, uh, for my second version, I decided to make a custom frames around this. Um, around the LCD screen completely. So, enter the version 2 of my uh, picture frame and uh, this is still work in progress. I'm just uh, getting very extremely lazy and uh, wasn't finishing it. So, uh, it's the same dark board software but um, as you can see there's no uh, very little bezels um, because I uh, measured the frame and I gave and gave the uh, framer actual dimensions so that they could build a uh, build out the picture frame just like this. And uh, as you can see, there's a um, this is follows the same scheme of things: uh, a Raspberry Pi Zero with a driver board and a uh, and a uh, inverter for the backlight. And uh, you also get this um, wire to uh, hang in hardware. Um, and uh, the good thing about this metal frame is that uh, the channel to that hold hold a uh, frame is a little thicker, so everything goes on behind the back of this. Um, all the electronics can stay behind the frame without uh, adding the bulk to the back of the frame, which is uh, a plus. Uh, I'm still still uh, have to fix this up a little bit, but uh, for us, for someone who. <laughs> interested in this project I think uh, this is a good starting point and uh, I had a uh, whole frame assembly video for uh, this frame but I didn't uh, release it yet so I will uh, put this together and uh, release it within this week so hope you enjoy this and uh, if you have any questions let me know and uh, I'll try to help you out the best I can uh, while I uh, put that video together uh, that's it for tonight. Thank you and have a good night.